All right, guys. So I'm going to be talking to you today about an issue uh, with the MR16 DDT version one engine. Uh, I've seen it happen at the Nissan dealerships, and now I've seen it happen in my own garage. So it's about time that I uh, I took care of it and I show you guys what's going on. And the issue has to do with the oil feed line. Um, so let me tell you the backstory to what just happened and why I'm actually doing something about it now. So my buddy Nick brought his juke to me so that I could put it all back to stock for him so that he could give it to his mother-in-law. And part of that process was replacing the OEM downpipe. Now the car sat for, I want to say, a little over a year, um, which is a long time for any car to sit. Um, he tried starting it at his house and it wouldn't start. He thought it was a battery. I got it towed here. I finally got it running. It sounded eh, um, I just figured it was because it was sitting. So the car sat for another couple of months in my driveway until I finally got time to uh, take care of it. Uh, so I pulled it in, I put the OEM downpipe in, I put the turbo back in, and I started the car and it didn't sound right. Um, so I took it on a test drive and it wasn't making any power and it wasn't making any boost and it was making this really, really weird, loud whining noise. So I pulled it back into the garage and I popped the oil feed line off and lo and behold, no oil was coming out of it. Um, and this actually right here is me removing the bolt from the car. Now, as you can see here, um, this thing, this is pretty much bone dry. Um, so there's definitely no oil getting through that. Uh, so we definitely know that is our culprit. Uh, so no oil getting into the turbo means oil starvation of the turbo, which means the bearings just died in the turbo. Um, and I've seen this happen at dealerships before. Um, a few years ago at the dealership, somebody came in, their juke was making all sorts of bad noises, uh, diagnosed it as a bad turbo. Uh, the technician replaced just the turbo, so a brand new OEM turbo, and he didn't replace the oil feed line, as was recommended by me. Um, and he turned the car on with the new turbo in it, and the brand new turbo exploded. Right there, it just died. Didn't even get to back it out of the uh, space. Because, you know, at idle, these things are spinning at 5,000 plus RPM. Uh, so, sure enough, he takes the oil feed line out, um, tries to blow some air and some fluid through it, and nothing goes through it. So, another turbo and another feed line goes into the car. So, it happens. I've seen it reported on the forums um, and on Facebook. So it does happen to people and it does happen fairly often and I'm going to show you why that happens. So I've set up a little experiment here. Uh, this is an OEM feed line. This is actually the one that clogged up. The issue happens right in here in this flex section that Nissan puts in here. Uh, the material inside is not all that great. It's kind of like a, a plastic. It's like a nylon. And as you can see right here, it's very brown and that's where it sits near the uh, downpipe and gets a lot of heat onto it. Brown on stainless steel, which is this is made out of, that means that it's getting very hot. So what happens is inside this line, the tube is very, very tiny. I'll cut it open for you in a minute after I do this little experiment. Um, and it clogs up. Now when a car sits for a long time, you also have oil that sits in here. From when you turn the car off, there is little bits of oil that's going to sit in here. And as a car sits, that oil hardens and dries and turns into a crusty material. And that clogs this line up. All it has to do is clog up for a few seconds when you turn the car on and then boom, that's the end of the turbocharger. So I'm going to show you guys that this line is clogged up. So this usually goes in the head and this usually goes in the turbo. So what I'm going to do is actually spray some brake cleaner uh, through this hole and you're going to see that nothing, maybe even just a tiny little seep uh, comes out of this hole and that is going to show you that this line is clogged. All right, here we go. So you're getting a very, very slow drip coming from out here. And if I flip this over, you're going to see how much oil fluid is actually in here. So quite a bit. So this is pretty clogged up. That little tiny drip that you're getting, it should be completely free flowing. There shouldn't be anything blocking anything in this line. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut this section open here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not sure how good this is going to come out on camera, um, but you can see inside this hose, um, 
It's a little bit smaller than the diameter of the hard line, and it's a very, very thin walled material. Um, I can't see inside it to tell you where the clog is, but this fills up with oil. Um, I, I wish you guys could see this, um, but if you look in there, there's a lot of oil residue. Um, so that is why these fail. Um, I made a video of installing a uh, custom oil line replacement kit for this very reason. Um, so that video is linked below. Um, we do offer a kit online that replaces this with an aftermarket one that's all stainless steel braided uh, vibrant performance parts. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, but this is definitely something I suggest um, for all Jukes. Um, when I do the big turbo builds on these cars, I always swap out to a different line anyway, even though I could just adapt the banjo bolt size to fit whatever turbo I'm using. Uh, so that is why that happens. If this has happened to you, let me know down in the comments. If you know somebody this happened to, uh, let me know down in the comments as well. And if this is something that concerns you, feel free to ask questions down below. I will answer them as I can. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you go check out the new website we have up, thefastreligion.com. You can get all kinds of merch, decals, and you can also read more about the builds we're doing. In the meantime, why don't you check out these other cool videos that we have going on, and make sure you hit that subscribe button.